So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. The channel where Mick reviews stuff. Now, I've done a bit of a series on uh, classic mobile phones. So we're going to carry on with another one today. We're going to take a look at the Nokia E51. So, Let's put the camera down and get straight on with it. This is an obvious fingerprint magnet. Glass and steel, that's what it is. My camera's not the best in the world as it is, but I think we don't do too bad for what I've got. This one came in the shiny chrome or stainless steel, to be really honest. This bit at the top there is plastic, obviously glass, glass at the top there. Uh, and then these plastic buttons. These buttons were really comfortable to use and they protrude a little bit made it really really easy to use it's nice and light as well it actually weighs a hundred grams so really easy in the top pocket back in the day not like nowadays i'll just drop that there for you people with the uh, with the headphones so a thousand and fifty milliamp hour battery 96 megabits of ram a two megapixel camera on the top there Actually, you could actually take video in 720p on this. So back in the day, what that wasn't too bad because the release date for this was um, November 2007. It was announced in September 2007. Obviously, the status now is uh, discontinued. 114.8 uh, millimetres tall, 46 millimetres wide and 12 millimetres deep. The same card that goes in there was the mini so it wasn't the micro like in the new uh, versions with the apple with the iphone and the samsung it was actually the mini the one in between so it wasn't the massive ones it could put a micro hd card in there uh, the operating system symbi symbian symbian 9.2 series 60 version 3.1 ui to give it its full title uh, the display, TFT, 16 million colours. Uh, the screen size, 2.0 inches or 12.4 centimetres squared. Resolution, 240 times 320 pixels, 4.3 ratio. You could have downloadable themes and that. But we'll go on into that when we go into the menu of it. Uh, the sound, loudspeaker, yes. Uh, alert types, vibration and downloadable polyphonic MP3 ringtones. It's had a push to talk button on the side as well. Now, we didn't, I don't think we got that in the UK, but I, I went to Vegas years ago and I was watching somebody use one, well, it wasn't the particular phone, but they were using the phone as like a walkie talkie, a cellular walkie talkie. So that's what that means. Uh, MP3, WMA, WAV, RA, AAC and MP4A player. Document viewer, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, including Microsoft Office 2007 support via a free upgrade. Predictive text input, voice command, memo and organizer. Now the battery was a removable Lion 1050mAh battery and it is actually the BP. 6 MT that's in it. It's still got the original battery in there. Standby up to 310 hours. A standby time we can only dream of nowadays, to be really honest. Uh, and if you're actually just going to talk down it solidly, you could talk down for 4 hours and 20 minutes. Solid talk time. As we said before, they come in black and silver. Uh, and the price at the time of uh, in a, uh, November 2007 was 120 euros so a fair price at that in them days if you put that by now it would be quite expensive wouldn't it uh, the loudspeaker was good for 67 decibels and the audio quality minus 76.4 decibels and crosstalk whatever that is 74.8 decibels so let's take the back off and have a look inside Really easy to strip down these. Just press that button there. And that's the only thing that's holding the back on. And then we say before, the BP6MT battery, 1,050 milliamp hours. 
as usual with a Nokia, just a quick tap like that, it releases the battery from the thing. So let's take a look inside it. If I can actually get it to focus, it will do in the end, I can assure you. Sometimes it just needs that little bit um, of coaxing. There we go. There's the EMI number, the WLAN. There's the uh, model number up there, the E51-1. Type RM-244. Uh, presumably if you point the camera at that, it will take you on and tell you about it. So there's the... Uh, the slot for the uh, SIM card. Obviously, the, it wasn't the massive SIM card. It was the Nano one. And there is the slot there for the uh, SD card, which just clicks in and clicks out. Finally got it out. This one's the 512 megabit one. It just holds in snaps back in just by pushing it always a lot easier if you've actually got some uh, fingernails so let's switch it on really easy just the button at the top there if it'll ever focus in let's see if it will there we go power sign on the top switch it on and there we go nokia Used to say connecting people, didn't it, on the older ones. Now on this one, it just shows you the uh, hands going together. Offline. Obviously, there's no SIM card in it. I've used it before on O2. So there we've got menu, phone book, calendar, SMS. Presumably that'll take you straight through to the SMS service. Or is it email? So you can actually send emails and receive emails on this. From what I remember, you used to have to uh, refresh to get it to do it. It wasn't like push emails like what you get with modern things. You had to refresh each time to see what emails you got. A quick one to uh, have a look in the contacts. Amazing that. The first two that come up are no longer with us. So let's take a look. August 2016. I wonder if you can... I wonder if it's actually run out now, the calendar. I don't know how you'd find that out. Week view. So that's 2016. I don't know how you'd actually find out. I'm presuming that must be... Uh, Probably if you put a SIM card in, you might, that might still work. So take a look at the menu. It's having fun today, this camera. It's not, you can't deal with the shiny. It's focus, focusing on that. So call log, contacts, tools, media, office, installations, calendar, connectivity, web store and help let's have a look let's go into media that's a 3d polyphonic ringtones on here i think if you connect up the uh, radio then the headset turns into an aerial so you've actually got radio on there so it won't work without plugging that in Click on the camera. There you go. There's your camera. Let's put something underneath it. A pair of tweezers. As you can see, compared to a modern camera, it's not brilliant. Go into 3D tones. So you could change the sound tra trajectory, trajectory, if I can spit it out, of the ringtones, the speed of the trajectory, there you go, and then a reverberation if, as if you were in different places. 
So as if he was in a railway station, a cave, a living room. As if it, were, as if it actually changes it. The old Nokia tune. Yeah, you, you can hear it. That's changed that to an echo. So a cave should change to a different echo. Living room will be carpeted. Forest. Back out of there. Duct. You can hear that. That's got the, the like a a ring to it, like a um, oh underwater. So there's no echo to that. Let's go back to duct. Sounds like you're in somewhere really hollow, or like a cone or something like that. So just press cancel and come out of there. Exit again. Let's find out where the um, ringtones are. Got to be honest, just to remind myself of, of um, where the ringtones are in there. So you actually go into settings, select that. General. And then personalization. And click down a few and get onto tones. You can actually download tunes to this, obviously. See if we can find a few ringtones. So email alerts. Just your general polyphonic ringtones, really. I don't think you'll be able to get the full uh, experience, really, because I say it, it's been it's set on that, um, so, so the sound is coming out and coming around the phone. Quite sort of modern for them for those days. There's your message tones, Nokia. God, that was awful. Saying it's just come out of that single speaker at the back. It's It sounds a lot more stereo. So we'll cancel that. Obviously, you could alter the ringing volume, message alert tone, camera alarm, clock alarm tone. There's a vibrating alert that could come on as well. You could turn the keypads off. Let's do that. Bonus. Warning tones. There we go. That's that. That's it done. Change the themes. There's one, two, three, four, five different uh, themes that you could have on there. Change the wallpaper. Adopt power saver. Something I found quite interesting uh, when I was looking before. So you could actually do internet calling. You could turn your uh, caller ID off. So you could do internet calling on this. You could set which one you want to um, voice call or internet call. You had a choice to reject the call with an SMS. You could even put a, a reply in there so you didn't have to. Um, actually say anything it just would send it out for you you could actually do image in video call so you could do a video call in it as well i think you could use these with skype if i wasn't much mistaken speed dials any answer key you could divert it if you wanted to either to the uh, voicemail or to a different number you could actually bar calls on this this was miles ahead of its time, really. Some of the phones you got in 2007 were 
very, very basic compared by today's. But this is somewhere near without the 4 and 5G connection. And then on there you could make a room. network mode operator selection and cell info display. Cell info used to be when you've got a SIM card in there, it would tell you what the dialing code was basically for the area you were studying because when you're on a mobile phone, you don't know. So let's talk a look around the actual phone. Uh, I just did a quick Google just to see what you'd pay for one of these nowadays. I always like to see just you know, basically, you never know what they're worth, they're worth what people pay. But as a general sort of um, ballpark figure, they're, they're looking on eBay, uh, one that's boxed, there's one in there at seventy four ninety nine. There's another one which is described as mint at $129.99. There's a few from different places that uh, with stock photos in there showing up at 30 40 uh, another one showing up at £20 on eBay. Probably not going to be the best example at that. So if you look round at this, still in reasonable order, still works perfectly, the battery's still good, still the original battery. You're probably going to be between 50 and 70 something like that, I would have thought. So it wasn't a bad investment. I've had it since probably 2009. I used it for a long, long time, Uh my daily sort of phone good thing is with these they've got massive uh, standby time on there really easy you can charge it up every night go out you could use it all day I mean even now if you're a businessman who's on the phone constantly and you're always putting your iPhone or your Samsung on charge this would be a godsend uh, obviously it's got Bluetooth in there as well so you both connect an earpiece to it just keep shouting down it all day and then worry about charging up when you get home, rather than the modern phones where you're constantly charging all the time. I mean, you'd need, if you're in business, you'd need a tablet, wouldn't you, or, or you know, or an internet phone or something to be with this as well. But you'd just be able to just keep talking all day and all night on them. Probably don't hold the battery like the old ones, but a lot more features, and certainly a lot better than modern stuff. So there you go, that's took you for a look round the Nokia E51. I hope you've enjoyed it, I've really enjoyed showing you it. If you have enjoyed it, why not give us a thumbs up? just helps the channel up the analytics. Uh, things are going pretty well. I haven't posted for a couple of weeks too many, so I thought it was about time I got something done. Anyway, I'll bother you no more. Thank you very much for watching, we'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.